Welcome to Outdoor Cookery. As you all are aware, um, inflation has just gotten out of control. Food prices have gone up horribly. Fuel prices are, are way up. Uh, and everything is expensive right now. And, you know, we're also looking at, at uh, not only is the food expensive, but we're looking at food shortages. With the war in Ukraine, I think the world is looking at seeing a 25% reduction in available grain. Um, also because of that same situation fertilizer production is is dramatically impacted so our ability to produce food here in america is going to be impacted so i, I think many experts are warning about food shortages being a serious problem on top of that um, we're being told that through the summer we're likely to see rolling blackouts as energy production is unable to keep up with demand so the um, Outdoor Cookery Channel kind of had a false start. We did a couple videos and then it kind of has languished for a while. But with these things that are going on, I thought it would be a great time to restart the channel and use this channel to focus on recipes and methods that can help with this situation. Uh, certainly cooking outdoors is a way to handle the power problem, but also like I said, I want to focus on recipes and methods that will not only help with inflationary issues, but also food shortage issues. You know, our country has gone through food shortages before. During World War I and World War II, the Great Depression, um, people had to really figure out how to do without certain things. During both World Wars, most of the meat and wheat um, was sent overseas to, to feed our soldiers. And so people learn to do with a lot less meat and to bake breads and things with alternate grains. And I think we're gonna probably have to look at doing some of those things again. So I want to um, relight this channel and focus on some of those things and see if we can help find a way to ease some of the stress that uh, all this is causing. And certainly just being in the outdoors Cooking outside, being with your family outside is, is a great way to relieve stress in and of itself. But, you know, if you're prepared to cook outside and you know how to do that, then when you come home from work and there's no power in your house because of the rolling blackouts, you'll have a plan. So this is uh, kind of where I'm wanting to focus the channel right now. If you haven't really ever done much outdoor cooking before, I really wouldn't let it stress you out too much. It's really not that difficult. In fact, you can start with something as simple as a cassette stove like one of these. These are available at outdoor stores and even supermarkets. They run on a butane cartridge and you pretty much cook on one of these just like you would on your stove in the house. So they're, they're very easy to use and you just use your regular cookware, nothing special. Also, we're going to be talking about Dutch oven cooking. Now these are made so you can put charcoal underneath them. You can see they have legs and uh, you put charcoal on top of them and basically anything you can cook on your stove or in your oven, we can do it in a Dutch oven. I mean, we can bake bread, we can bake biscuits, we can bake pies, we can do a casserole, we can you know, cook a pot roast. I mean, just the list goes on and on. If I could only have one utensil, this would be what I would have. I could, I could feed my family and, and do it quite well with just, with just Dutch ovens. Now, some of these can be very expensive, well, kind of expensive. But there are some very inexpensive options too. In fact, I did a video review of a Walmart Dutch oven um, that at the time of the video a couple years ago was only around $20. So if you want to get started in Dutch oven cooking, there's definitely some less expensive options to do that with. And uh, I think, you know, Dutch oven might be something you want to look into. Also, you know, having a charcoal, uh, like a hibachi or a grill, definitely something you want to look into. There's a wide variety of these. You can, most of the outdoor stores have them and they're not terribly expensive and so we're going to be talking about all these different kinds of cooking and some other things that aren't you know here um, and so if, if it's you know outdoor cooking is kind of new to you don't let that worry you too much like i said we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about how to do all these different things there are several things we can do to help deal with some of the inflationary issues and some of that is just buying things now before they get more expensive later so for instance, if you go to the grocery store and you buy some canned vegetables, buy what you need, but buy extra. Buy, you know, if you buy a can of, of something, buy a, an extra can of it. And when you use the first can, don't use the second one, go buy two more. And this kind of buying is a gradual increase in your pantry and doesn't create the kind of problems that hoarding or mass buying would, buy, would cause at the store. 
and so we can all I think be good neighbors and in increase our our uh, pantries and make sure we're well stocked so that we don't cause um, panic buying problems and at the same time you want to make sure you're well stocked at home with fuel so if you're using propane or butane uh, you want to make sure you're stocked on that charcoal firewood those things that you would need to fuel cooking outdoors you want to make sure you're stocked up on those things too and if we do some of these things we'll be able to get ahead of some of this now when it comes to buying meats beef has gotten just incredibly expensive and so there's ways you can stretch your dollar um, you know like if you mix ground pork with your ground beef like is very commonly done with meatloaf you can stretch your your, your hamburger needs uh, if you've never had hamburgers made with a mixture of hamburger and ground breakfast sausage they're really good so there's ways we can use you know pork which is a lot less expensive we can use that to stretch our meat also just cooking more pork is uh, going to be more economical and you know it's with all the outdoor things we can do cooking wise you know making pulled pork making spare ribs making you know all kinds of you know grilled pork chops all kinds of things we can do outdoors with pork that just really tastes great and a lot less expensive than beef also when it comes to chicken if you buy whole chickens and cut them up yourself you'll save a lot of money compared to buying packages of pre-cut chicken so I know some people don't like to cut up a chicken <laughs> that's a thing so but if you can handle that buy your chickens whole they'll be a lot less expensive per pound so there's things we can do to beat the inflation we're going to talk about cooking methods and recipes that uh, will help handle some of these situations i'm really looking forward to that i think this will be a lot of fun to get the channel restarted and um, we're just we're just going to have a good time and get through this together so i i hope you will um, tune back into the channel as some of these new videos come out be sure you like and subscribe on the channel so you, and click the notification bell so that you'll get notification when new videos are posted and I look, seeing, look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Outdoor Cookery.